Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hello, if you are new here, you guessed it by the title, it's time for a ski vlog. We are in Chamonix. We actually arrived yesterday. We had a very, let's just say, long and difficult journey. We are here, I am grateful, we are safe, and wow, nothing worth having comes easy. So we arrived a lot later than we were meant to yesterday, but we still managed to go and have a great rest of the day. So I'm gonna quickly run you through what we did yesterday and then we will get into present moment. So yesterday we flew into Geneva and then from Geneva we got a 1.5 hour transfer. We then headed over to our hotel. We checked in the hotel. I'll give you a run through maybe like later on my back so we're about to head out. But we checked into the gorgeous apartment. We actually have a two bed apartment for six people and it is just absolutely beautiful. There's like a spa and everything in here. So super impressed. Then we headed straight out to pick up my skis. So if you haven't been on a ski trip before, I personally rent my stuff when I get here. Matt brings his own stuff, my boyfriend, because he's a very good skier. I definitely think I'll get my own stuff for next year. It's just a bit of a faff in the airport. I headed to go and get my feet measured, got my feet measured. I went to Intersport. Once my feet were measured, they then measured me with my skis. We headed home with the skis. Popped the skis in the boot room, and then we headed out for some food. Oh my gosh, there is so much good food in Chamonix. Chamonix is already my favorite resort that we've been to. We headed to a place to get matcha, bubble tea, and souffle, like the Japanese souffle pancakes. How amazing. Then after that, we just wandered around Chamonix. It was sadly quite rainy, so we couldn't ski yesterday anyway, and we also arrived too late to ski. But we did manage to head around like the gorgeous town, went into the most gorgeous shop with cheese and wine, tasted some cheese. It was just a dream start to the trip. There are some amazing shops in this area. Then we headed out for dinner. We headed to a place called Le Tablis. I think I'm pronouncing that correct. I can only speak French when I'm tipsy, even though I lived in Montreal, so excuse me. First dinner, let's go. This is like our tradition in France. Yeah. I'm excited. We got beef. Oh, I love something like sizzle, sizzle. For sure. Dessert of dreams. Dinner was great. We also found a bakery, which is insane. So we also did grab snacks from the bakery. We had to have a pan of chocolate. <laughs> you can eat. Yummy, yummy, yummy. We have got the goods. I'm addicted to these pan of chocolates already. It's dangerous. <laughs> Literally, what are we like? Then when we had it for dinner, we were quite full, so we just went for like French fries and a grilling platter. The grilling platter is so great because you just cook your own food. Matt's like, I don't want to cook my own food in a restaurant, but it was fun. So we did that, and then we headed to bed. Now we are in present day, so good morning, hello. We are about to head out, grab Matt's ski boots to get fitted to his own skis that he's brought, and then we're gonna go grab some breakfast snacks. We can see blue clouds and sunshine coming through. <gasps> oh my god, they've got a flan natural, literally one of my favourite things ever. That is served, it's kind of our tradition to have DP eggs when we are about to go on the slopes. And the sky is getting blue. So Matt made eggs, we went to a local bakery to go and get some lovely French bread. I did have another pan au chocolat, Matt and I have a slight addiction to French bakeries. I'm usually a pan sweet, pan au raisin kind of gal, but it's like a dance to get into this. Today was a pan au chocolat, yesterday was a pan au chocolat. Okay, so I'm gonna link everything I wear on this trip below. I might even do a blog post about ski kit. But I've got my thermals underneath to keep me warm. And then I got this one piece. Woo, there we go, ready. I actually think these one pieces are amazing. I've wanted one like my whole entire life. And if you watched my come packing with me for skiing, you will know I tried a lot. I ordered a lot. All I would say about this exact one is I wish it had a slit here because that makes skiing really, really easy with the ski lift. So I'm going to wear this and I'm actually going to put a coat over the top as well because it is quite chilly today. I'm really mixing it up this year, doesn't it? <laughs> going with this over the top. But unfortunately on this, there's also no little pocket so when you're going to the ski lift you can just kind of tap it so i'm just gonna have to have it in here instead but these actually these pockets do fasten they all zip fasten so that's handy so this is the first fit 
of the day. I am going to fill up my pockets with the things that I need, the essentials. And then we are actually heading on a bus. There's not really any ski in, ski out hotels. That would have been the preference. They're obviously more expensive, but it's more of like a resort than a ski in, ski out place. So we are going to head and find somewhere. Charger for my vlogging camera. That's for you guys. Hi, Cone. Because, hello. Charger for my phone. Another charge for my phone, just in case. This one's great. It sticks onto the back of your phone. This one needs a cable. A lip balm. Gotta keep those lips hydrated. And my skin is so dry right now. And a lip gloss. This is always the worst bit. Putting ski boots on. Bravant. So this is the nearest to the hotel. Oh, I can see a little coffee bar down there. So we have just hopped on the first cable car. Let's go. We are, we are quite a long way down though for like a, a base resort is at a thousand meters, which is why they've got big long cable cars going up and it's got sleep slope. like that it is time for a drink drink time how was your first two runs yeah so first two runs done and we are so thirsty so we have stopped off in the mountains and I'm pleased to say that the sky is lifting the clouds are lifting yesterday when we arrived we did arrive quite late but the clouds were really low and right now we have beautiful blue skies so really happy so we just sat having a drink I think I might get a hot chocolate with Bailey's and that's the idea. He was saying the beer for 10 euros, but honestly it was so expensive in Tahoe, this actually feels cheap. Bonjour! I had a hot chocolate with Bailey's and whipped cream and now we go again. The sun is shining, the ability is so much better and we are so excited. I'm staying so nice and warm. I actually could definitely ski just in the undersuit because it's so warm, like I'm boiling, which is great. My hands are a little cold now, but I need because we were sat outside. I can't see anything, so it's goggles on. Ooh, I actually just got these goggles from Amazon, but the more I think about it, the more I want some designer ones. Ooh, some like Gucci ones or Fendi ones or Chloe ones, but ready to ski? Let's go. Let's go. Messy lunchtime in the mountains. We got some Evian, which is hilarious because we're in the mountains. French fries and tart de tan. Looks good, isn't it? I love a tart de tan. Like, look at the views. Look at the tart de tan views and tart de tan. Wow. So. Okay, so I have to say, the ski suit. I love it. I'm so happy. It's so comfortable. I worried because obviously it's a very tri -tri annoying when you need to go to the bathroom. It's literally fine. The thermals underneath are keeping me so warm. This is so warm. And then I actually just put the gold coat over the top. The gold coat's not really needed over the top, you know? Like, this is definitely warm enough. So we have just eaten. And the reason we only went for top tan and fries is because we're trying to save ourselves for more snacks later. The Chamonix has some amazing food. So we are going to get loaded back up with all of our gear. We were literally stuck in snow when we first came out this morning. I mean, you are on a mountain, but the visibility was not good. And it was like hailing. It's like a mini blizzard, hence the hat. I'm so glad I didn't bother killing this mop today. So yes, we're going to try and fit in maybe like another two runs. And then on this resort, you have to get the cable car. Would you call it a cable car? Yeah, you have to get the cable car. Matt says telecabine. The telecabine all the way down. And then we grab the bus back to Germany. And I'm sure we'll have like a crap or a coffee or a Bailey's or something down there. That's why it's really integral that you pace yourself with the foods. Like I really wanted a bowl. There's so many snacks you want to have. So little time, so many snacks. Down to base camp. Our hotel is great because we have 
a boot room. So you just lock up all of your stuff in here and it's heated and everything will be dry for the morning of skiing. We are back in our room and Matt just introduced me to these. I've never heard of them. Please comment below if you've had them. But look at this, I can't believe it. They're mini pizzas. How cool is that? They're literally mini pizzas. Good evening, my friends. So, I'm glad I didn't do my hair this morning because it got disheveled. Matt and I have just been in the spa, which was a dream. We also demolished those pizza things, a packet of chicken lays, since when were chicken lays a thing? Are they like the Walker sensation, but like the French version? I have to say they weren't as good as the poulet roti, poulet roti lays but i have to say walker sensations are ones that are their chicken ones unbelievable roast chicken time they only sold this in multiple so we've gone through two bars just love the snacks wanted milker we'll probably get milker tonight and now we are heading for dinner the spa was amazing matt did so well choosing an apartment with a spa in it it's so gorgeous down there much needed after a gorgeous day of skiing so i popped this on to make myself look a bit fancier tonight with my comfy leggings it looks like an all-in-one this over the top the coat of my dreams keep me warm and then i'm gonna have to put moon boots on snowy out there to be honest and i don't think the uggs will will uh, get melted so we're basically going to try and get into somewhere anywhere anywhere that will take us we have no reservation but we're feeling funky fresh So many people recommended this Indian restaurant and we managed to get in. How happy are you? So popped on to start and usually I get like 10, don't I? Today we got two each. Look at this feast. So excited about this. Good morning my loves. Behind me you can see the egg. Will Demidi, I think is how you pronounce it. Someone messaged me on Instagram and said I have to go up there. And basically it's a cable car that we can actually see from our hotel with the most insane viewpoints and the weather's actually really good today. But we are on a strict diet of skiing. So I was saying to Matt, hopefully we get time to go up there. And I was saying it's one of those resorts that there's so much to do here if you are not a skier or if you kind of want a break from the skiing. But Matt wants to do a lot of skiing. So let's see if we can get up there at some point this trip. We are up riding early to go and get maybe a coffee, maybe a pan of chocolate, maybe just something. We are heading to ski somewhere new today. Dinner last night was so good. They give you a brownie on top. Matt has asked to go into a French pharmacy. I'm obsessed with French pharmacies. I love this. They basically sell all of my favorite brands. La Roche-Posay, I have some of this with me. This is the most amazing sun cream which you can pop it on your scalp. I actually have this new eye cream with me as well. So exciting. I have dermatitis and this range is incredible for it. I had loads of people on TikTok saying this is incredible for like wounds and stuff. I also have this Vici SPF with me, such a good one. They sell CeraVe, another thing that's helped my skin so much recently. Skinceuticals in here, oh my goodness. I'm so excited, absolutely obsessed with Skinceuticals. Slimar and CF, so good when I'm about to break out. Did you find what you wanted? I did, but I wasn't paid that much. 120 euros. I mean, I've got some really good ones that I get at all the time. I've just got to bring it for like 15 quid, but like 120 in there. So Matt's basically looking for a knee support because a lot of skiing is not too good for your knees, is it? Got a sore right knee. French supermarkets are also elite because they always just do such great things that we don't have back home. I'm going to grab some milk to have with our French cereals. I am super impressed though that they do have lots of protein yogurt and Greek yogurt. This is what I'm really here for though. Oh my goodness, 
cereal biscuits by Kinder since when? They always do Kinder things that I feel like we just can't get this in the UK. You don't want to know how much of this I have eaten in the last two days. I think I might get some milk though. For some reason you can only get them in packs of three or two. Why? Why is that? My gosh, should you a Ferrero Rocher lint since when? And a creme brulee lint. I don't know why, but I just think French cereals are so great. I used to absolutely love these when I was a kid. I remember getting these and being like, wow. Honestly, it's all the milker thing for me. It makes me so excited. I love milker. Good morning, the makeup is on, and so is the knit. I am so excited about this knit. So I've got thermals underneath, and I was just saying to Matt, don't fix what ain't broken. So I'm actually going with this again today, because I know it was warm, I know it was great. We also just bought some oranges because they have an orange juice machine in the hotel room which we will be taking full advantage of tomorrow morning we just had some eggs we had a great experience going to the supermarket we maybe bought some more of these i love a french supermarket i love a french pharmacy and now we are heading to get the bus to another resort would you say resort or area because it's all in chamonix but then within chamonix there are how many different areas were you saying at least 10 that are in close proximity. At least 10 different ski areas in close proximity. So I am a ski and ski out kind of gal, however. But you can also link up with other resorts with the big area pass. Do you hear that with the big area pass, which we have? You can link up with other resorts. So if you want to like go an hour out of your way, there's more skiing. I was saying to Matt, so little time, so much skiing. So as much as I love ski and ski out, actually, like it's a bit of a faff getting the bus. I'm not going to lie. Once you know how and once you get there and walk over there with your skis and stuff, it's great and you get to do lots of different skiing. So we're going to do a different place every day. Let's go. Here we go. Here's our stuff. So we jumped on the bus to Les Huches and it was about 15, 20 minutes from Centre of Chamonix. So we are staying in the Centre of Chamonix and we were just saying you can either hire a car or you can get the buses because we have a pass that gets on all the buses and the trains and it's really efficient. And the thing is, it's cool because you can do a new place every single day. And we were saying, yes, we could be staying in like a really cool chalet here, for example, but then we would still want to go to Chamonix Centre for dinner and we can watch Chamonix for like our morning matcha and coffee and stuff. So Matt said that they're huches. Did you say it's one of the best ones? It's one of the biggest resorts, yeah. Well, it is the biggest, I think. Which one did you say is the best one? Uh, or the famous one? Quite famous one, Grand Manettes. Are we going to do Grand Manettes tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow, yeah. Wow, we have arrived. Look at that. Bonjour, we have just stopped for a chocolate show and a packet of rays. Why do rays taste so much nicer abroad? The weather is amazing today. The views here are amazing. It's not the best food up here. The food yesterday was much better, but you can always get French fries. And the chocolate show yesterday was better, but it's nice and warm today. And I would say the views are way better here. Now it's time to put the skis back on after our little break. I think the most annoying part after lunch is having to grab all your stuff again. Let's go. Okay, so Matt did some Googling and found us the best restaurant in this area, in Les Huches. So we went on a little bit of a wild goose chase to find it because everyone online was like, it's amazing, it's farm to table and you have to follow the signs and then it's hidden in some trees. We followed every sign. We were skiing for a long, long time. Like it was an amazing run, such a long run. What was the restaurant called? Le Luge? And guess what? We got all the way to the bottom and we were like really confused where the sign's gone. So we're in the chairlift to go up because we've already decided we want lunch. And we just went past it, didn't we Matt? And it's actually closed. Yeah. Got no snow up to it unfortunately. There's basically no snow up to it, which I guess we are used to skiing, so that's probably why the weather is milder. I prefer skiing in mild weather, as I've said a million times. But unfortunately, you can't physically get to the restaurant unless I guess you're walking. Um, so yeah, 
we it's a good job we didn't go into the woods and find it because genuinely we would not have been able to get down we'd have had to abandon the skis and just like go down walking like a hiker so yeah we are heading up a very very long ski lift which shows how long we've just skied for and we're gonna head somewhere else for some lunch we found some really cute spots hidden in the mountain there's our lunch spot he's got a steak and cheese i have got pasta view the pasta the dream lunch the dream backdrop they got a chocolate mousse it's my first chocolate mousse of the trip i'm so excited about this i love this place it's called le horse piece uh, yum 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 mm. we just met the owners of le horse piece and i'm so glad we came here they are so nice they gave us a shot which i actually think we need before going down the mountain because it was quite an intense route down. We basically went down and came up because we we're going to find the other restaurant and ended up coming here. And this is going to be worth it and much better. Things always work out for a reason. We ended up coming here and we loved it. You have to come here, definitely ski down. It's a little bit off the beaten track, but the runs down here were so wide and so beautiful. So, cheers. How do you say cheers in French? <laughs> place wow and there's sun setting over there Ready, baby? let's go <laughs> this is honestly so beautiful and it's so much calmer I genuinely prefer this already oh my goodness guys the most Ridiculous thing just happened. Can you hear how out of breath I am? And I have no skis. So, whew, we thought we had another run left in us, but then realized that the lifts close at 4.15. So we were just heading down skiing to the cable car. I got to the bottom and realized I had lost a pole. I don't know how I skied without her. Anyway, I had to walk all the way back up up the steepest hills in my boots with one pole, serious strength, great workout. Somehow I found it on the edge of the slope. So I am reunited with my sticks. Matt was like, do you want me to help? And I was like, no. This is the face of someone who just had to do a marathon hike back, back up. Oh my goodness, I have so much respect for people who are hiking up these mountains in these big boots in the snow. Wow. And then Matt was like, Em, um, <laughs> I think the cable car's gonna go. It's the last one. Run. So I had to find said pole and run. I'm never letting go of them again. Unbelievable. <laughs> Only you. I, don't, I must have been such a good skier. I didn't even realise that I didn't have it. I was like, how you get halfway down and realise you've already got one yen. <laughs> oh goodness. Down to the town we go. And I think I deserve a much better chocolate show than the one I had earlier with some Baileys. Good evening. We were having such an amazing day until I lost the ski pole. I nearly missed the cable car down, but someone was watching over me and the day continued to be amazing because I then found the pole, ran back to Matt, got on the cable car, and because I ran, when I say we got the bus, and I think it goes to one bus an hour at that time, within seconds to spare, it was great. I just basically saved Matt the time waiting for the bus at the bottom. How we timed that precision was amazing. So we got back, we treated ourselves to some time 
in the spa and the pool had a lovely swim. I'll pop a shot on screen of how beautiful the pool looked tonight. And now we are heading to dinner. We are going to somewhere called, I wanna say it's called Le Cap Horn. Apparently it's one of the best restaurants in Chamonix, but honestly, they're all amazing. Like the place we went to for lunch today was amazing. And tonight's meant to be amazing too. So pop this little dress on and I've popped some black tights with it. Yes, she took the moon boots off, can't believe it. And then I'm gonna pop my Canada goose on and to dinner we go. We have gone for such rogue menu choices. Matt has gone for wowzers, chicken breast and shrimp with some fries, merci. And then I have gone for sushi, rogue but epic. <laughs> you know it's good when Matt takes a picture. Oh, you look quite sunburned. Gorgeous, we need to take our sun cream tomorrow. Mm, yes. Mm. Second of the day, cheese bowl. More bread. Cheers, baby. Morning. We had a storm last night. We actually had two power cuts last night, so we sat in the dark and had an early night. Mountain storm, and it's quite rainy today. So we are just gonna head out, go try a new coffee shop, probably grab a matcha, maybe a croissant, and then we maybe we'll just like pool and gym and then decide where we're gonna go today. It's low visibility today, which is annoying considering yesterday it was so great, but we will make the most of it. Wearing this to stay warm. I'll link everything below that I'm wearing. And of course, the coat of dreams. Just popped loads of moisturizer on my face. Dinner last night was really good. It is expensive. It's kind of like a mismatch menu. It's like a round the world menu. So you've got like sushi, you've got mac and cheese, you've got fish, you've got meat. Honestly, all the things we had were great. It was just very premium, but it was a great dinner. So let's go and get some nice coffee. Moody coffee in Chamonix is great. And they give you a baby brownie on top. It's so good, so I've told Matt we have to go back there. And then I wanna try this Arctic juice bar that I've discovered. Finally, we get to try the Arctic juice. Oh my gosh, they have Easter eggs. Oh my gosh, how gorgeous. Breakfast spot of choice. We are back here to pick up some bread. And I'm hoping I can find some mountain honey. It's a bit wet. Sour there as well. Do you want me to get the middle one that doesn't look bad? Oh, that one, that one looks nice, yeah. That's a good one. Mm. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. When in Rome. What I really want, I want some mountain honey. However, unfortunately, they only do huge tubs of it for breakfast charcuterie today. Well, I found some mountain honey, a mini one. We got these to make orange juice. We got some eggs. And then I got an energy bar. Got these. Already opened them. So they give you this brownie on top of your coffee, and it's so delicious. I had to buy one to try. Have some fresh orange juice. We've never done this before. I've always wanted to. Ooh, is this right? Good afternoon. So we had a whiteout this morning, unfortunately. The sun has just come out and the lifts close here at around 4.30 and because you have to get the bus over there, it doesn't look like we're gonna be able to show any skiing, which I'm so gutted about, but it's like half past three now and I just, uh, realistically, timing-wise, catch a bus. Oh and get over. I'm so sad, but he was saying that most ski trips you can't ski each day. I thought that it meant that Chamonix got the storm out of its system, but this morning it's really only just cleared hours late. So heading into the town to make the most of the day. Obviously we've had a beautiful day in the spa, which was amazing, but we did want to do some skiing. We could try going back with it midi now. That could be a shout. I wonder what time it's open till. Oh no, we thought we could salvage the day by heading up and it's closed for the day, unfortunately. Dang, I wondered why there was no line here. Maybe, oh, it's closed due to wind. You're a legend. <laughs> You're a legend. Matt wants to do some shopping. 
So this is such a nice shop. Wow. They're absolutely beautiful, I have to say. I appreciate them. The sexiest ski poles I've ever seen. I want the pink ones. This is a different haul for the Emshell channel. We've gone from Harrods, Regent Street, to ski shopping. Bricks, absolutely love the brand. I like the beige one in the middle. I would wear the beige one. My brother has one of their jackets. They are very good. Just in the Quicksilver and Roxy store is absolutely beautiful. Found these gorgeous trousers on sale, absolutely love them. Good ski kit lasts a lifetime, it really does, it lasts for years. I think they are definitely on sale or they wouldn't be on here, we'll go and ask. Going to a candy shop, this is absolutely incredible. This place is meant to be amazing for hot dogs, not in the mood for a hot dog, but if I was I would go here. Good evening, it is time for dinner. Unfortunately, as I said, we didn't get any skiing done today, but we did get to walk around the beautiful town of Chamonix. We went into lots of shops. We nibbled on our pick a mix. I spent 17 euros. Good, because I was supporting a local store, but also how did I buy that many grams of candy? I said to Matt, it will last us three days. No, it's gone. It's gone. So we had a great day in terms of we got to use the pool, we got to use the gym, we got to walk around, we got to explore. Sadly, didn't get to go up the Agua de Midi because that was closed due to wind. But we are heading out for dinner now, we're heading to somewhere called Munchie because you guys on Instagram recommended it. So I'm very excited for this. Let's go. Got a little black dress on this evening. Shrimp tempura, popcorn shrimp. Good morning! It's time to ski, so we headed on the bus. A very busy bus, might I add, which is why I did not vlog, to From Manettes. To Les Grandes Manettes. And we are about to do some runs. This is apparently one of the hardest ski resorts in the world. I googled it and it came up and it was like the steepest, hardest ski resort. So we've chosen a great weather day. Let's go. So you got a pass, but I'm knowing life is fast. Everybody's got their path. Need you to meet me where I'm at. Can't see me through these tents. I bet they asking who is that? You seeing what I'm on, but you don't know me like that. Don't come in and tease it. Without a plan to treat me a please. I know what you need it. Let's not discuss it. Quiet with all of that fussing. Nothing is good, turn out to be easy. So give me the reason. We should rush it. You might want to play with my heart and say that it's love, it's something my budget. You trying to tell me the way that you're moving is not an And just like that, it's time for lunch. Pizza and fries. Okay. The runs here are insane. Like, it's hard, but it's great. They don't call it um, the hardest for no reason. Really beautiful, so vast. So we just had pizza and fries, and now we are going to get back out. We are on our way down now from the most amazing day. So Le Grand Monet, maybe you pronounce it wrong, is definitely our favourite. It is so vast. There is so much off pisting not that I did that, but many people did. It's one of the, as Matt says, it's the mecca of skiing. It is so beautiful. It is just incredible. We did the most amazing skiing, very challenging, definitely not for beginners, but incredible. Then second place, I would say Les Huches, that was incredible, wasn't it? Yeah, really good. And then third place was Vermont. So that was our third place that we've been to. As I said, we're going to places that are close to Chamonix town centre. Yeah, I mean, Le Huches is the biggest and that's had most of the stuff open. Vermont's meant to be quite nice, but when we went, only about like half the stuff was open. Um, and one side of Vermont is closed completely, which links it with Flaget. What were your thoughts on today? Very good. 
very tough. You can see why people say it's the toughest, uh, one of the toughest in the world. Very hard work. So now what are we doing? We're going to find a spot for a chocolate show. And a nice cold beer. And we did also have a Toblerone earlier as a snack. I've never seen a mini Toblerone bar. We managed to find like a mini one and it was so good. Matt's just checking out how far the distance is from the very top to the bottom because there was a red run instead of getting the cable car down and we were saying on our last day we'll do the run all the way down. We were gonna do it today but I wanted to just check how long it was first because it is red for like probably over an hour. I mean we did do a 50 minute red today. Yeah it'd be long from top to bottom. It'd be, I don't know if I had, had it in the legs today. <laughs> Which one's this one? So this is the one that goes from is this one that we sort did? of the main base um, camp up there essentially and then down to the bottom where this lift goes so this base this run is basically from this telecabine top to bottom and it's 2900 meters 2900 yeah and obviously then look, if you go to the top on the next telecabine um, you're probably looking at something similar so it's probably about a six, six car run which is long but not not massively long Yes, that's something about if you do come skiing here, the terrain is really difficult here. I don't know if it's always difficult here, but it was tough, wasn't it? Uh, I think this resort, especially at the top, yeah, like the the reds are like easily blacks anywhere else, and then yeah, the blacks are very tough. It was like so much snow, which is great, but so much harder that my skis were like going through it and chopping through it, and I was like flying and there were like mountains of snow on my skis and then they were crazy moguls, like it was great, great exercise. It was, with a lot of powder. A lot of powder. The sign of a good day in the mountains. A hot chocolate for Apre. is good when you get a second one so we have a second one and we've been advised to try it with sea salt this time mm. good morning i'm skiing in this today I was so excited. I mean, it's a long coat. Can you ski in a long coat? I don't know, but I'm super comfy. Wanted to mix it up and loving it. I've got an Alps jumper on underneath, which I'm so excited about. We're heading to Les Huches today because it was just really nice, chill vibe. We absolutely loved it. Matt has got himself some new skis. He went for the Black Crows. I'm jealous. I want the pink Black Crows. And we cannot wait to try these out. I say we, Matt. To Les Huches, we go. But we are having charcuterie and fries. This is the view. Incredible. Dinner time. We've heard this place is amazing. So here we go. This is it. It is our final day skiing. Yesterday was amazing. We headed back to Les Huches, which is just absolutely divine. So calm, but such great skiing. Today I've mixed it up. I'm wearing black for the final day. Don't know how I feel about it, because I love my ski suit so, so, so much. But yesterday was just an absolute dream. Didn't vlog much because we were just like enjoying it. Had a great lunch, had great snacks. Actually headed back to the place that we loved so much, Le Hor Peace. And then for dinner, we headed to an Italian called Gioia. Wasn't the best, honestly. I'm gonna say probably don't go. But the day before, we went to a wine bar, Au God Manger. Insane wine, steak, meat, cheese, fromage. It was just so good. So let's go and hit the slopes. We're actually heading to a new area today that has opened. The lift has opened. It is called Bravant and Fligger. Fligger. Back to Bravant, and then from there we can take the cable lift to Fligger. For 
a drink and the last time we came here it was really windy so I'm gonna enjoy this this time. Spaghetti bolognese with a side of cheese and bread and that went for a burger. Views we have absolutely stunning. Good afternoon, we are done skiing for the day. I am so sorry for slandering Brabant. Brabant was amazing today. Now more lifts and runs were open and the weather was sensational. Oh my gosh, we found this red run that was just beautiful. We did it like five times and it felt like a different run every time. We didn't get bored, it was just epic. Very, very tired now. Very tired, our watches were like, you are seriously having high heart rate right now. So we're gonna go drop my skis and then we're gonna find maybe shaman ice for ice cream, maybe a crepe, maybe a chocolate show, maybe a beer, maybe a wine, do a swim, maybe a bit of everything. It's ice cream time. We are back from dinner now. Face is very tired. Skiing is so exhausting. We've been trying to get up so early every day and honestly, even though we've been going to bed early, it's just such a tiring holiday. I feel like you need a holiday after the holiday, but we had such a great dinner tonight. We headed to a spot called Josephine, which gets great reviews and was honestly one of our favorite restaurants of the trip. And then we headed off to the wine bar, I feel like it's called a garden manger, but check my Instagram because I'm gonna have a highlight with all of my favorite places called Chamonix. And oh my goodness, we went back to the wine bar and it was just amazing. It's a place that we headed to for cheese and steak like two nights ago, but I wanna come back to Chamonix just to go back there and drink really great wine. The quality is so good. It's a chocolate mousse spot. So we have had an amazing trip. I am going to leave this vlog here because I know it is far too long. If you made it this far, leave a comment below and let me know if you are team skiing or team snowboarding, which one do you prefer? If you are team neither, then thank you for watching this skiing vlog all the way through. Leave a comment and tell me that you are team neither and let me know your skiing or snowboarding stories. But thank you so much for watching this. For any more info on Chamonix, if you are wanting to go, there will be a highlight on my Instagram at mshellx called Chamonix, so I will save all of the restaurants and all of that stuff. But thank you as always for being here and come and say hi on Instagram at mshellx. And if you haven't subscribed, I would love you to be part of the channel, so please hit the subscribe button. See you next time, guys.